Hi there, I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, kindly like and subscribe. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can add uh, add values to a column which is of type choice and it allow multiple selection. For example, if I added this uh, column, this is simple list. It is its name is choice. Uh, its name is options. Its type is choice, and I allowed uh, multiple selection. Okay. For example, you have let's say form. This is the sample form, and in form you have question which allows uh, selection, uh, which is of type choice, and it allows multiple answer. So, for example, you want whenever form this type of form is submitted, you want it to add to the list so in this case uh, let's create a new flow when form is submitted you can keep this empty if you want and switch to old designer i prefer using old designer okay now select your form and then get response detail Okay, in here, select your uh, form again and in response ID, select this. Now, uh, for the first run, add compose. And in compose, in here, select your question which has multiple, uh, which is of type choice and it allows multiple selection. For example, my question is options. Uh, so I am going to select this and save your flow uh, test it select manually then click test and after this click the collect response icon open your form and uh, submit form like for testing purposes i am going to select two options now this flow is waiting for the form to be submitted and when i submit form you will see it will run uh, run and it will show us uh, what we received in our option so for example it shows like this okay i selected option one and option two now copy this select all select this copy it now click edit and then in here add parse json okay In here generate from sample and paste your result in here okay and then in here uh, in the content put your question that has multiple options selected now this parse json will give us array with which we can use uh, loop to add option to a string which we will use to create item in sharepoint list so i need to uh, create variable as well initialize variable uh, name it whatever you want uh, for example i am going to name it options and its type will be string okay now add append append to string variable now in here select your variable name in here from in here you will select item from parse json okay when you click on it a loop get added automatically so after this put semicolon and hash okay so now after this loop we will have variable which we can directly add into our uh, in create uh, using a uh, create item to create item with multiple choices selected so for example uh, let's say I want to now create item from whenever form is submitted I want to create item with and also in that item I want to choose all the option that are selected in the form
Okay, as you can see here, this is the option value with option one, two, and option three. So in here, what I'm gonna use is basically enter custom value, and then in here I will put my variable. And if I test it, and let's say I test it manually. Now it's waiting for form to be submitted. And if I click submit another request and I choose, let's say option one and option two, and let's say I choose option three as well, I submit it. Uh, the flow will start running. It is running at a moment. It completed successfully. And if I go to my SharePoint list and refresh it, a new item will get created here with all the three options selected. As you can see here, three options selected. If I go back in here and test it again, let's say I test it again with uh, and submit another request with let's say option only one. Okay, it's waiting. Uh, I submit the form with option one only. Now flow will add only option one in the new item. Let me refresh the page. As you can see here, a new item got added with option one. Uh, just make sure the items, the name of values in your form is same as name of values in your list. If they are same, then they get added without any issues. So this was the tutorial explaining how you can add multi values into the multi uh, into the choice column of SharePoint list where multi value selection is allowed. Kindly do let me know in case you have any question or you don't understand any part or there is any other issue. Thank you.